Hello. Yes, hi. Good, Good evening. How are you? Hi, Ella. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fine. Thank you. How do you pronounce your name? Charlene. Charlene, you said? No, Charmaine. Oh, Charmaine. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. You from New York? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you from New York? I'm sorry? New York. You're from New York? I see 917. Yes. Right? Where you're from? Okay, good. Yes, yes. So then that's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. There's lots of, there are lots of messages here from you. I know you have some questions. But because you yes. are a first-time client with mine, everything just co comes and everything just pours through, um, which will help you along your spiritual path and it'll help you to align yourself or rather to get into more of a spiritual identity is what they're saying. She needs to know who she is on a spiritual level, okay? So the first thing I want to talk to you, okay, first and foremost, before I get into this, um, do you know anything about me, or have you seen my sessions oh, before, yeah. or? Oh, yeah. You don't even have to tell me. I, I was looking at all your videos. Okay. You're, you're wonderful. You're blessed. Oh. I love you. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Okay, because I'm about to go in, and I'm like, wait, before I go in, let me give you the back. <laughs> okay, good. So, here, here it is with you, beloved. Um, what they're saying is in your past life, we're talking about your past life now. What they're saying in your past life is you were someone, you know, like mummification, um, mummifying or rather, help, you know, um, practicing or rather what they say is preparing, yeah, preparing a body to go or rather to transit, to transit into a spirit, in the spirit realm or rather transit into another dimension. In your past life, you were someone that helped in that process to, you know, bury or rather wrap someone like a mummy so that they can be properly sent on their next journey. Um, another thing that's coming up, so I'm not sure if you are, and that's why they said this is why she's fascinated or rather this is why she wants to understand or get closer to the spirit realm and dealing with altars and things of that nature because you have a very underlying connection um, with death. Um, in a sense, and it's not, it's not always bad death, because death is good, because when death comes, new beginning comes as well, so closing out one chapter, only for you to begin a new chapter, so it's, you know, number nine, dealing with completions, so in, an, in, in, an, in, in, in another event, um, the color black is coming up with you, and what they're saying is whenever you want to do like a candle magic or ritual or anything of that nature, black. Why black? they saying black. Why? Because black, you know, it has that carbon. Everything comes from black, you know. All the different colors has black in it, you see. Um, in any event, black is a very dominant color, right? So with you in any event, I'm feeling like, and that's a, and that's a very good thing because that's dealing with the like scorpion energy. Um being overprotective about a lot of things is what they're saying. She's overprotective about her loved ones or about her personal situations and things of that nature. That also relates in your situation. That also relates with the color black. So if you want to, if you're someone that burn um, candles and want to eliminate or, you know, remove negativity from your aura feel or remove negative thinking is what they're saying or even um insomnia or you know have problem with sleeping oh or inside God. yeah black 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 wow. black they're giving me they're telling me the color black with you and two before black what they're saying the reason why they are recommending the color black for you is because who you were in your past life dealing with death or rather i wouldn't really say death but let's say trans transition or trend or making you know or 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 going from one uh particular level to another level so going from wow. you know going from point one to point two or point a to point b in order for you to go to point yeah. b point a has to be mastered so you got to close that chapter out only for you to begin again i'm seeing diamonds around you and i'm also seeing butterflies around you beloved gold diamonds is what i'm seeing like a you know like the cube like a like a like the you know the um the shape of a diamond like a real diamond um and they're saying that you're very fortunate 
um, to have certain things that you have, but she just has to, I guess, pay, you know, pay it some attention. And you know, sometimes people say, um, your blessings, is, you're looking for blessings, but the blessings is right in front of you, um, type of thing. Yeah. So it's like you may be looking for something that is right in front of you in terms of, um, financial reasons as well, or rather in terms of, like, rather in your financial path. What they're saying is everything that you want to manifest on a financial level, level, it's right in front of you, um, beloved. So, it may be a situation right there. What they're saying is use your mind. Tell her to use her mind. Use her mind. Use her mind in order to make more money. You are someone that is good. Um, if you have a good team is what they're saying, that you can be very successful. And then, too, financially wise, finance wise. And if you're looking to buy property, my love, yeah, that's a go. Um, that's definitely a, that's definitely a goal with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's definitely a goal with you. And this may ha this may be something that you might come across in the near future. Um, once you align yourself with that reality, you know. Um, and then another another uh aspect what they're showing me is butterflies. Um, you know, cocooning, or rather, you uh being in one situation, and it makes sense because you are now. Um, wanting more information dealing with spirits or you want more information dealing with um, you know your internal connection or rather your or rather ancestral connection so that may be a situation where you are now like a little worm or how what what is the beginning stage of a butterfly mm. like a cocoon uh, oh, okay. yeah and then now oh, you're gonna and okay. then and then yeah and and then you're gonna expand you're definitely going to expand. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing this. You're definitely going to expand. And you're someone that things happen very quickly for you. Um, so understand or know how to deal with things when it comes to you. And, it's, and, it, and the key word is how. It's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with things when it does happen to you. I'm feeling like a Saturn energy um, coming through challenges or rather, well, yeah, challenges, but challenges are always good because once you, um, you know, you overcome these challenges, you feel like the master, which goes back to, um, the diamonds and you cocooning. So it may be challenges with understanding who you are on a spiritual level or understanding or trying to find out who's your, what your spiritual identity is. Okay. Um, and in any event, you know, some of my clients asks me, what did I come back onto this planet to do? And I just asked that question to your spirit guides, and they said, listen, she has came back to this planet to teach and to heal. So to heal people. And that will also make sense of why they will say heal people, because they just mentioned to me that you were someone that used to wrap or rather mummify, um, you know, the dead. So you're actually in that healing or you have that special touch. Um, be mindful of, of parasitic people. Um, para where do you work? You work with, with a group of, where do you work? Do you, are you? Oh, I work at a law firm. Mmm, okay. All right, all right. Okay, so you're in contact with, are you in contact with a lot of people? I'm feeling like there's something going on over there with the work where, um, you know, you just got to guard your energy. I'm, you want to uh -huh. definitely, um, you want to definitely work with black tourmaline. They go that black again. Oh, that's probably why, because you may be working with different people that has different energies, a different aura on a daily, daily basis, such as myself, and they need you to protect yourself from psychic attack or from people that are mentally ill and mentally sick, um, perverted people as well. I don't know who's around you. Um, but I'm feeling like it may be, um, like, a someone that may be operating on a low sexual vibration. Um, was your childhood okay? Oh, I went through a lot. I went through a lot with my childhood. I'm okay with it, though. I'm like, I just let it go, you know? I mm. feel like I had some, um, early, like, you know, I was molested when I was young. Oh, there um, it goes. Okay. By, you're not even a stepfather, but 
legally, and my mother was married to him, but, you know, and, and a lot of back and forth custody battles as a child, like, mm. from state to state, you know? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so then that's what I'm picking up. Oh, okay. So then that's why the um the color black for protection because you always was in and out and dealing with things spiritually from childhood and now it's like listen you need to be rather grounded or you need to be secured or you need to be protected from other people's energy because guess what I understand or rather I over understand that you're saying you have gone over gone you know gone through it and you healed but if you haven't fully, fully dealt with these deep-rooted issues, it still lingers. The energy still lingers around you. So what you want to do is, again, um, moving forward, you want to keep the black tourmaline with you. And you also want to keep, or rather, you want to burn black, um, black candles to just remove, you know, just remove the pain. Just remove the pain because, like I just said... I picked up the the, uh, the 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 molestation, or rather the the negative, uh, the sexual, the 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 pervertic, mm-hmm. the pervertic energy around you. Yeah, it's still it's still yeah. that energy is still there. The the feeling may not be there, but on a uh. spiritual level, the energy is still there. Um, and oh, and as Lord. you mm-hmm, and as you know, your spirit guides are gonna tell me things about you from the past present and future because again you're my first time client so I'm gonna dig deep all the way um so I'm just helping you to realize certain things that you know is still you know a little you know a little bit there the little residue um is still lingering and round and I'm telling you what you can do um to just let it go or or for that energy to to move out of your aura field because in the near future I believe you want to be in a loving and comfortable relationship, you know, an intimate or rather uh, a compatible relationship. However, if you are, if your energy is not right, um, and you still have the, these 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 sad feelings um, from from childhood, then you might attract someone that is not for you. Because again, when you attract people, you're attracting their energy. Um, and what you okay. attract is who you are, uh, and what you also attract is a mirror of yourself. So your mate is right. is a mirror of yourself. So say for example, okay. you attract someone that you know. Say for example, is always you know asking you for stuff, asking you for stuff, asking you for stuff. It's probably because it's probably because you always wanted. So if you all if you're a person that always wanted things, like I want this, I want this you're going to also attract somebody that's asking you for stuff all the time. Hey, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, opposites uh, yes, opposites attract, but you have to deal with deep-rooted issues in order for you to be completely and spiritually aligned with your highest good. And that's the reason why, before calling you, your spirit guide said she is on the quest or she is on the verge of trying to understand her spiritual identity. And in order for you to rather align yourself or get closer to your spiritual identity, you have to do a lot of um, deep root and detox. You know, you got to detox from um, these feelings, these unwanted feelings, even from childhood. We all got to do it. We all got to do it. Um, I would recommend a yama. I would rec- I would definitely recommend a yamaya bath um, for you. You know because yamaya deals with um, healing. She deals with family trauma. She deals and she's like the mother of the Orishas. If you um, you know listen to my sessions, you know that I recommend her for clients such as yourself that has been going through you know uh, a little rough childhood or or relationship issues. Um, in any event, but you will definitely be, you're, you're, you're okay, um, um, in terms of feeling wise or, or emotional wise, you're okay, um, you actually want to elevate and that's fine, however, like I said to you before, in order for you to elevate, you got to deal with what happened to you in the past, that's just like, 
um, when white folks tell you, oh, forget about slavery. Like, how can you forget about slavery? Like, right. you know, how can you forget about yeah. the, if, how, can, how do you want me to go to the future? I got to remember my past. I got to know where I come from. You know, I can't just forget about slavery. That's where, I, you know, that's we, that was a part of our mm-hmm. life. Yeah, oh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I try to write some stuff down. <laughs> um, it's recorded. I want to know if the, I have any, like, spirit guides or I'm getting into, like you said, into my own spirituality. And mm-hmm. so the questions are running through my head as far as, you know, where I should be kind of focusing, you know, as far as my deity, Oshun, Yamaya, those are two that really come to mind. Um, mm. And then I have a question as far as my ancestors, like, you know, my father that passed away, my grandfather, my, you know, my grandmother, that type of thing. Give me a second. Okay. You know what I'm picking up with you um, in terms of, we're going to get to deities and Oshun and all of them, but that that's, that's um, coming second. You know what I'm getting with you. I'm getting like um, a, Cu- a Cuban, a Cuban, Yoruba though, Yoruba. So it's good okay. that, it's good that you are interested or your spirit is leading you to Oshun and Yemaya because you come from that genetic background is what your spirit guys are saying i see um even like your grandfather i'm feeling like this is your grandfather he's playing the drums so i don't know if your father's side of the family deals with music but i'm seeing like a ritualistic uh or rather a ceremony that is happening um and that's a yoruba ceremony that is happening um and they're welcoming you in so give me a second, uh huh. Give me a second. Let me see. Um, mm. Okay. What did your father make? Did who? Your father wore glasses? Um, no, nah, he didn't need them. I mean, I have a picture of him with shades on, but he didn't need glasses, so. Um, I don't know. He's coming to me with glasses on. Um, uh-huh. he he looks like a Dominican. If you ask me, um, yeah, he looks he looks like a Dominican, um, but he's very sweet at heart, is what your spirit guys is saying. He's very sweet at heart. Um, give me a second. What did he yeah. what he made the transition for? What happened to him? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. What what? How did he pass away, my love? My dad. My dad was diagnosed with um, Hodgkin cancer and it had already elevated to you know a stage where I mean he took the chemo and all that stuff but a year later he died oh okay okay because he's he's I'm seeing so I'm let me say who I'm seeing I am seeing a slender man he's not a big guy I'm seeing a slender man he looks like an Indian um he's like um like golden complexion and he has like a pointy nose he has black hair and like i said he has glasses and he feels like he's your father um or he might be your great grandfather but he sh- he's holding his heart right he's holding his uh, heart uh-huh he's holding I think that's my grandfather my grandfather was short okay okay all right they were very family oriented. Yeah. Mhm. Very. And he raised me. Him and my and um my grandmother raised me for that period of time that I went back and forth. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So then, yes. Yeah, so then, it might not be your biological father, but it it is your father because he raised you in that sense. Okay. I understand. Okay. okay. So then, that's why he's coming through. Oh, and he's telling, he's saying that he loves you. Did you have a dog when you was growing up? Yes. Uh, he they had a, um, a Dalmatian. Oh, yeah. I recall. Yeah. I'm seeing a dog. I'm seeing he's with a dog Um, here. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. my, my father had a white dog, though, too, so now I'm confused. <laughs> he loves him. Mm. They're confusing me. There is one of them. No, I'm telling you, is one of them. Is one of them. Give me a second. Huh. Your grandmother was she taller than your, 
taller than your grandfather? Yeah, I think so, yeah, slightly. She was taller than her, uh, she was darker than her, than him? No, he was, no, my grandfather's tan, my grandmother was fair Mm -mm. No. You know why I'm asking? Because this man that I'm seeing here with that you're you know, that you slightly identify with, he he's saying that he is your father. Now here's the thing with spirits. Spirits come to me and they can how he how, however he looks now in the spirit realm. He may not look the same here. When you make the transition and when I make the transition, I'm not going to look like myself. No way, Jose. Mm -hmm. But but, but there's, there, there's certain attributes and, and, and certain phenotypes that they come with where I can express or I can explain, okay, this is how he looked, this is how he looked. And it's up to you to figure out, yeah, he does look similar. But he is coming to me and he is telling me that he is your father. So now that I'm asking him, okay, well, what else? What else can you show me so that I can talk to you about it? He's showing me his lady. Now his lady, his lady is taller than him, um, taller than him, and his lady looks darker. But his lady has, you know, which might be your grandmother or whoever, or even if it's your father, his lady. Um, in any event, his lady has, and you, you're Hispanic or you black? I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, you Puerto Rican. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this is why that I'm I'm picking up more so of like the Cuban energy um with you. Uh -huh. Um which you know some people say Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and blah 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 again not the same, but I mean you're Hispanic, you okay. know. Um uh -huh. but the Cuban your roots, most of your roots come from the uh, Cuban side and if you are attracted to the Yoruba that's why you are attracted to the Yoruba uh, religion or the Yoruba spirits because of the Cuban side or the Cuban roots of your family which is related to your father's side so this may even okay. it don't it may not even be a, 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 a ancestor that you know it may be your father's 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 father anyone comes through your father your father may your father my your father your biological father no that's not him Ex absolutely not that's not him but there's someone on your father's side that is this is someone from your father's side most definitely wow because i never met my grandfather's father my great-grandfather i never met i well again you may not, you may not have never met him, and that's fine because I can channel spirits from whoever. But it's interesting because some of, some of the attributes, such as the dog, um, you know that came up, and you identify with that. So it's like, who okay. is this person for real? You know. But I just do okay. know, I do know that he is from your father's side, and he is saying that the reason why you are connected with the Yoruba um, entities or rather the Yoruba religion is because of us and they are playing yeah. drums they like music um, they got rum dark rum um, <laughs> with them and this is what you should you know offer your ancestors when you want to deal with them accordingly or when you want to put that on your altar Rum is definitely okay. coming up. Rum is definitely coming up with them. Um, food is the food wrap Hispanic food. Um, you want to do some rice and beans. Just do rice and beans. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Just do rice and beans is what they're saying with some hot sauce. Um, spicy. I mean, I don't know if you like hot sauce, but they're showing me what what to put on your altar. Um, on Thursdays is what they're saying. So every Thursday, whenever you get a chance, and you don't have to rush, um, you don't have to rush this. But when you begin to set your altar and do what it, you know, and, and and get yourself organized on Thursdays, you want to give them a fresh plate of food. Um, and then you can throw, you can keep it, you can keep it, um, for the weekend, but not too long is what they're saying. But then, well, what okay. this guy here is saying, 
whoever you know someone from your father's side um is saying but then too yeah but then too um you also want to keep some rum um some some bacardi rum uh or dark (laughs) rum brown rum Mm mm-hmm on your altar yep um and that's dealing with your ancestors and that is the only person that came through um from your ancestor side give me a second oh no 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 oh hold on hold on okay your grandmother your grandmother she was religious uh yeah Mm -hmm. okay i see i see this woman here um because when i said and that's the only one that came through she was like no 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 she has um she has um she has um a chain or rather a necklace or rather yeah a a a Jesus cross thing around her neck. Okay. Uh-huh. She has a Jesus cross thing around her neck. Um and she's praying for you is what she's saying. She's praying for you. She's saying what? She's praying for you. She's praying. She's praying for me. Um, praying for you. She's um, I have a grandmother that passed, and I have a great grandmother, and then so I don't know. My great grandmother, she's dark skin. She's very dark skin, big, big bone. And then my uh, grandmother is like I said, fair skin. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, right? Um, you said your grandmother, she was dark skin, right? Mhm. Okay. Do you know who she was married to? Or do you know who she was involved with? No. No, that's the thing is that we don't, like, I was, I've always been curious about that. She raised my grandfather alone. Like, she was a teacher, and I know that she raised him alone as a single parent. She's very firm. Okay, so let me tell you. I Rem- never met him, my, grand- my great-grandpa. Okay, so remember, okay, thank you for clarifying that. Remember, so then this guy, you say you never met him, that's who mm-hmm. he is. That's the guy who I'm talking about. Oh, remember when okay. I asked you, yeah, remember when I said, is is his wife darker than him? Remember when I asked you that? Yeah. And you just confirmed, yes. that's, that's them. Because it had to, it had oh, to, uh-huh. yeah. It had to be, it had to be that. That's his mom that is with him. I thought it was the wife. But that is his mom that is with him. And remember, oh. remember, I, I asked you, is the wife darker, darker than him? Yeah. And you said no. She, your oh. thing is fair skin. So that will make sense. Oh. Of, yeah, yeah. You, you get it oh, now, right? My, okay. So it's my father and with my, with my, uh, my great grandmother. The one who's dark skin. Right? The one who you just, the one who you just, uh, uh, mentioned. Mm-hmm. The one that you just mentioned. Yeah, my dark skin grandmother, and then my father is, um, he said he's slender, right? Yes. He is? Yes. Okay. Remember, re- yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, and then, but you said that you didn't, you said that you never met him before. So this is perhaps the reason why I was like, oh, he, he, he feels a little, mm-hmm. he feels a little... Um, he feels a little shaky, like, who, who is he? Is he your father or is he your grandfather? But the reason why he feels a little shaky is because I nev- you never met him as well. So I'm not getting any type of feedback with him, but he feels more so like he's on your father's side, not your mom's side. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Your, gran- your, okay. your grandmother, the dark-skinned grandmother that you was speaking to me about is she from your mother's side or is she from your father's side she's from my father's side okay so then it is from your father's side mm-hmm. so it's not from your mom's side it is from your father's side mm-hmm. yeah yeah oh okay yeah. so then okay so then we're on the yeah. same page okay so then we're on the same page yeah. okay fine so then we're on the same page yeah. All right, good. So yeah. when you so oh, she, fine. go ahead. Hmm? No, go ahead. What you was gonna say? Oh, you break. You breaking up a little bit. I said you were gonna. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. What was you gonna say? What was you gonna mention? Oh, 
Um, I was going to say that it's all, all from my father's side because from my mother's side, um, oh. her mother did not raise her. So oh. she really doesn't. And then her father, my grandfather, passed away when I was, actually I was with him when I was a little girl, a little baby. So I really am not close to my mother's side of the family at all. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so again, you know, this session has been recorded, so you can definitely go back, and it's definitely going to resonate with you, you know, when you, you know, have time and you dissect it and you, you know, um, in any event. But when you ask about your, and that will make sense because when you ask about who, you know, your ancestors, he was the one that came through because, like you said, you never met him, but he's always with you. But then the, his mom, right, which is the dark-skinned one, correct? Mm hmm She came through after I said nobody else came through. His, uh. She came through after I said nobody else came through, but then let me ask you this question because there's a lot of them from your, fa uh, your father's side. Um... What was your relationship with her? Well, my great grandmother. She, when I was little, she. Um, I remember her like for a few years. She was very good to me. She used to carry me. She used to make me dresses. That kind of thing. She was very um, nurturing to me. And that's the reason why she said she's praying for you. Yeah. That's wow. the re. That's that's so. Like I said, I'm gonna when you get. When first-time clients get sessions with me, we're dealing with deep-rooted things. So this is not even your grandmother, or this this is your great-grandmother. So skip the grandmother. This is your great-grandmother, which makes sense, because you want to know who's around you. And she, you know, she was a good cook, so I'm kind of feeling like you should sit and, you know, do you have pictures of her? I don't, but I can get one. <laughs> you want, you need to get, you need to get an all, you need to get, you need to, you know, set up an altar with her. Um, you need to set up an altar with her with one white candle, um, one white candle for her. Um, and then two, just put out food. Do you live alone? Do I live alone? Yeah. Um, with my husband. Oh, okay. Well, put. Is he okay with? Putting uh, would you putting food oh, on? Yeah. Oh, okay. You see, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. I have an altar. Oh, okay. All right. Just making sure, cause you know sometimes some some loved ones they like, hey, what the hell is this? <laughs> ah, ah. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? Blah blah blah. No 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 no. So in any event, yeah. So in any event, beloved, you want to definitely put out some food for them on a Thursday. Um, and then, you know, let it rock out for the weekend and then throw it out. And then, two, um, a white candle with your great-grandmother. She has a very lovely and beautiful soul. And so does, and so does her son. Um, they're both good people. And they, they're the one that played a part of your life. So they, they, yeah, and they, so then, yeah, it is them because they're, they are, um, clapping their hand. It is them. That's the reason why I'm like, who? It was kind of confusing because... Let yeah. me make sure, this is my great-grandmother and her son, my grandfather, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay, I'm Correct. happy now. And you know what's funny, the other day, Correct. I've been thinking so hard about this, and the other day I had to reach out to my aunt in North Carolina and just ask her, because uh, I referred to my grandmother as Bebang. Mm. And, you know, that was how we called her, you know, Grandma Beba. And I said, what is, what was her name? What was her name? And she said, Carmen. Told me Carmen, so I was like, okay, good, because I feel, you know, I, I actually, I'm trying to identify, but I can't tell. Well, so, yeah. So then, thank you. Oh no, you're more than welcome, beloved. That so, I mean, I'm I'm just the messenger. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger, beloved. I'm just the messenger. You, you know, you. Once you begin to align yourself with a particular vibration, and if this is something that has been on your mind and your spirit has been yearning for these answers, it's gonna come through. Because again, your spirit guides tells me things that are happening with your own spirit. So if your spirit has been yearning to know who your ancestors and things of that nature are, 
your spirit guys is going to tell me. They're going to say it. They're going to tell me so that you can know, you know. Um, oh so God, everything so is, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I feel the happiness. I, I really do. I feel the happiness. Although it was a little like, uh, you know, project, science project, because it's like, I got to go through this person, go through that person. Like, no, who is these people? Now we got down to the root. You get what I'm saying? Like, no, uh-uh, yeah. wait a minute. So I'm glad that we, yeah, I'm glad. Oh, and she's, you know what she's doing? She's, uh, she got a ribbon on her head, a pink ribbon on her head. Um, you know, she's tying up her head. Yeah, a pink ribbon on her head. Where was she buried? I believe, uh, Puerto Rico. I think she had a heart attack. Yeah. During the time that I was going back and forth, you know, with the kidnap and all that stuff, she had a heart attack. Remember, remember when I said, remember when I said, uh, your grandfather was holding the heart? Holding... That's that's probably what he was trying to sh- tell me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A pink ribbon? Yeah, she had a she have a pink ribbon on. She has a pink ribbon she on her. She had her breast removed. She oh breast shit! Removed. For real? It has oh to be it. <laughs> yes, the pink ribbon. <laughs> oh shoot, that shit scared oh. me. Oh shit! Yes, yes, the pink ribbon. Okay, so yeah, she's identifying herself. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's yeah, identifying her. herself. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's identifying herself. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's giving me more and more. Oh. Like Spanish said, bendito. <laughs> like Spanish people say, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you want to know who your spirit, you know, your ancestors are. Um, you know, that are around you. She's here. She's with you. Set up an altar. Um, well, rather, you know, get a picture of her. Put the white candle, um, on. Oh, okay. She's, she's, yeah, she's nice. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I really love connecting with spirits. I really, really do because it's a beautiful thing. And then I, you know, and then they, they, they thank me and they tell me about themselves. And, and, all, and yeah. this is all happening while I'm channeling with you. So it's like I'm in between realms. It's like I'm communicating with them and, and, and having conversations with them while still <laughs> having conversations. <laughs> with you. you understand That's what I'm amazing. saying? Oh yes. Oh, I'm like, oh, <laughs> thank you. Great, yes. a great messenger, great mm. everything on point. Yes. That's why I'm like, oh, she's a nice person. Yeah. Okay. So in any event, beloved, she's with you. You let's start from the let's start with them two first. Um, since you're comfortable with them. Start with them two first. Like I said, the rum, put the rum out there. Put a cup of rum or, or just a bottle of rum out there um, with the food. Um, even with your great-grandma, you want to uh, put her picture up, okay? Um, if your spirit has been attracted to Oshun and Yemaya, that's a beautiful thing. Um, don't second-guess yourself. So I can't tell you no. Um, because Yemaya did come up with you for you um, earlier in this session, so then that's good. Um, Yemaya is definitely, mm. and you gotta you gotta also ask yourself, you gotta also ask yourself, okay, well, why is my spirit attracted to Yemaya? Like, what is the message? What does she deal with? And Yemaya, as I told you before, she deals with healing. She deals with family trauma. She deals with people that has mm-hmm. abortions. She deals with, you know, um, emotional problems and emotional issues. So if your mm-hmm. spirit has been attracted or your spirit is attracted to Yemaya, then you have to say, okay, well, what's happening with me that my spirit is yearning for her? And then with mm-hmm. Oshun, okay. right? And then with Oshun, if your spirit is, a, you know, attracted to her as well and she deals with love she deals with abundance she deals with opportunities you know finances and things like that what is happening in that particular area of my life that I am attracted to Oshun Mama Oshun you know it could just be the abundance thing it can or or it rather just could be the growth 
um, as your spirit guides are saying, the spiritual growth. And as I told you before, um, and Yemaya also deals with butterflies and stuff like that, so that's interesting that I channeled that earlier on this session. Yemaya? Oshun. You say Yemaya or Oshun? Oshun? Oshun, yeah, she deals with butterflies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, because lately I'm always seeing, like, all these little insects near me. <laughs> that fly, and I'm like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Like, they're literally, like, on me or on the wall. Like, I'll just look right next to me, and it's one right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a beautiful thing. Um, That's a beautiful thing, beloved. Do you have any questions? I know you have some questions. I, I answered two of them. Yeah. Um, In terms of... You answered. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I want to ask you um mm -hmm. just um something I had went away mm -hmm. uh international to um you know the Naked Republic like and I went into the ocean and I kinda of blanked out <laughs> and then I didn't realize it until when I came out and I'm they were talking to me, they were like, Oh, you were swimming by yourself and I was like, What? What do you mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was I in the back of my mind, I'm curious. Well, you had a, you probably had a moment. You probably, what's your, what is your sign? I'm a Leo. Oh, you're a Leo. Okay. So, your opposite sign would be the water barrier. Yeah, or the water carrier. Yeah, so very, um, you know, intellectual person. Um, very emotional person as well. Um, you know, is able, you, you guys are the intuitive ones, um, as well, besides, uh, water signs, um, Aquarians and Leos are definitely highly intuitive, um, in any event, so, I believe that's, sometimes I always tell my clients that not everything is something, you know, not everything has a meaning mm -hmm. to it, everything, you know, sometimes right. you just have a, an experience. Um, and that's what basically right. happened with you, where you traveled into another dimension and you can't, you couldn't keep up with it because it was happening at a faster pace, but then you came back again. So it's just like when you dream, or rather you daydream. When you daydream, mm -hmm. your spirit goes somewhere, but you're, you're actually dreaming, you know, and then you come back mm -hmm. and you'll be like, oh shoot, I was dreaming. Um, so that's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, that's what happened with you. I'm not... I'm not really picking up, and again, it something could have happened, but I'm not picking up that something happened. Um, I'm just. Cause that's what happens to me at night. I don't like I toss and turn. Like literally, the night will pass by, and I'm really not sleeping. I'm just like my mind is just like I'm. I don't know. It's weird. Like I'm not sleeping. I'm not resting. My mind is going, and I get up and I'm exhausted. What did I? What did I tell you? Be, um, earlier. Do you remember what I told you about the, the mind? Or did I say um, mm -hmm. anxiety or insomnia? That's what I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I you said, did. yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And that's why they, they recommended um, the black candle um, for you. The black candle. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and that's just a pre tool. That's just starter's kit for you. You know, st you, you can start off with that and see what happens. Um, you know, yeah. start off with that and see what happens. Um, and then as time goes by, give me a second. You want to get you some chamomile tea. They're recommending chamomile tea for you. Um, and also valerian combined. The what? Chamomile. And then valerian. Chamomile and valerian tea. Okay. Those two, chamomile and valerian tea combined, um, at seven o'clock is the the perfect time for you to drink this tea. Seven o'clock, because then you know okay. it will it will go throughout your system and then it will help with the pineal gland to to secrete melatonin, the nighttime hormone or rather the universal hormone but melatonin is what secretes at night more so to help you go to sleep mm, and then okay. and then two green juice you know it might it, it, it could be a situation where it's, it's an abundance of stress where you're not able to sleep okay. at night stress you know mm -hmm. um that can be in a situation too they they're recommending for you to uh incorporate more raspberries 
um, in your diet, which is interesting. I don't know why raspberry. I don't have my book here, but um, fiber content is what they're saying, so you can incorporate more fiber um, in your in your diet. So raspberries, raspberries. Oh, that's what it is. You know, um, raspberries has the sh a shape of a a a pine cone. Mm -hmm. A pine cone has the shape of the pineal gland. So raspberries oh, will help. Yeah, that's what it is. Raspberries is going to help with providing nutrients or yeah, nutrients to the pineal gland or to the central nervous system in your situation. Mhm. Mm okay. Yep. So that's good. Um any other questions, my love? Just one more. Sure. Uh huh. <laughs> my um yeah, my mom has um recently been going through a lot. She's um hospitalized. She had um you know kind of a, a real serious downfall where she really missed death a few times. So she's you know trying to rehabilitate and you know having to relearn how to walk and you know walk and talk and just a lot going on with that and. You know, I've just been like, like in the back of my mind, I'm just like, why did this happen to her, and is she gonna get better? Give me a second. Why is this happening to her? I, I don't, I, I, I can't really say why exactly. Um, I mean, life, life, life takes its turn, right? Um, mm -hmm. but she, if she's mentally strong, is what your spirit guides are saying. If your mother is mentally strong, then she will come she will come out of this by herself. She needs lots of support. I'm feeling like the color blue and like a pastel green, um that 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 kind of energy, um you know, or that kind of color vibration will help her to heal. So, we dealing with give me a second. We dealing with um lapis lazuli and then we're also dealing with another crystal. Um, what crystal is this? It's probably amorous or E-M-E-E-M-E-R-A-L-D. Uh, e -E That's the crystal. E-M-A. Yeah, there you go. That crystal, those two combined. If she, buy her bracelet. Don't give her no crystals, because your mom will be like, what the hell is this? Don't buy, you know. I bought her, I bought her a green, and, and I bought her a, um, a blue bracelet. <laughs> when she go. first was going through this, and this. then she, when she, they, she got out of it, she was like, I don't want that no more, because that represents the past, <laughs> when she was actually rehabilitating, so. Oh, okay. That's interesting that you say that, yeah. No, I'm just picking up on your experiences, your past experiences. So, uh -huh. Get her another set, because if your mm -hmm. spirit guys, if your spirit already um, guided you to get those colors, and I'm already confirming those colors to you, I feel mm -hmm. like those colors are healing colors um, for your okay. mom. Yeah, for your mom to mentally prepare herself or mentally become stable. So, in addition to you and other relatives pro giving her love on a on a spiritual tool you can give her that those 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 bracelets that I all that those colors or those crystals that I recommended um as a spiritual tool okay okay yeah and tell her to have faith she has to have faith she has to know that she will be you know get better um they say faith okay. faith faith because sometimes she tends to doubt herself or, you know, some people that, that thinks negative about herself or, damn, it's never going to work or, oh, why, or this, that, or just take me, okay. you know. You know that was uh, that kind of talk, just take me now. And yeah. it's like, don't, don't, don't you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't put that on yourself, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Because she, she's usually, she's very strong. Usually she's very, you should not about me, but I guess she really just, this whole ordeal has been a lot. Mm. So she's kind of doubting herself, too. It happens. It happens, beloved. Yeah. It definitely happens. But she will be just fine just as long as she has the, 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 the support holistically. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much. All right, my love. Do you have a daughter? Yes, I do. Oh. Yes, I do. I have a question for you. Your boo boo. Already, and she has her own, you know, two babies. <laughs> Very little. Uh huh. Uh huh. She's been going through a lot, but she's getting. I worry a lot for her too. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of worried about her too, honestly. Yeah. Uh. Really? That's that's why you can't sleep because you having all of the. That's why the Yemaya is coming up for you. Um, that's why you you're not sleeping right because you have a lot of you know uh, issues that you you're dealing with that you can't you don't have an, any control over. You don't have control mm-hmm. over certain situations. So certain situations that you don't have control over, you gotta let it go and allow the universe to take its course because that, that's that's mm-hmm. why that's why we we have what is known as a higher creator or a universal creator. You know the the creator of the of pow, a powerful creator, quote unquote. That's why that exists or that spirit exists so that situations mm-hmm. like this can be taken care of. What you do have what you do have control over is the way you feel and your thinking pattern. Now, if you don't have, if your daughter, and again, give me a second, she just had a baby? She had, um, no, she um, one is going to be three and the other one's, um, she's one, she'll be two and on Thanksgiving. Yeah, she's, um, yeah, and she, she's, you know, Spirit guys is like she just had a baby. Um, what what was going on with her with the father? With who? With her father? No, the 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 her boyfriend or her baby father or whoever. Oh no, yeah, there's uh, yeah a lot going on. The first, yeah, a lot going on. A lot of back and forth. With, oh, yeah. Court, court, you know, um, visitation, custody, mm, you know. Yeah. Lawyers and all that stuff. I'm not going on with her, but she, you know, lifting herself up and getting back on that, you know, journey. She don't want to be with him no more, right? She's not with him. She's yeah, not with good. his father. Good, 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 mm-hmm. good. No, you no, know why I asked? No, but she's with somebody else. <laughs> Listen, she don't need to be with nobody else. She need to be with herself. I know. That's what I think. She don't need to. (laughs) Listen. Hey. Listen. She don't need to be with somebody else. I don't know. I just feel like it it was an abusive relationship going on. Um, Rather, it was verbal abuse or physical abuse. Um, I don't like that. She needs to to heal um, herself from what has been happening with her, you know, her her children's father or whatnot. Um, in order, like I was saying to to you, in terms of your 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 uh, childhood, in order for you to attract positivity or attract abundance or attract a mutual relationship, you you yourself have to be clean. That vessel, your vessel, has to be clean. She's gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over and over and over with different men if she doesn't cleanse herself from her past relationships. You understand? So, and she's going to learn on her own. Why? She's going to learn her own. Listen, Mom, you can't, you don't have control over it. Let it be. She already got two children. <laughs> Let it go. Just take care of your grandchildren. You know, just take care of them to the most that you can, you know, however the situation is. But your daughter? Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know about this one here. Yeah. No, seriously, she, you know, she, she'll get it, though. She'll get it. Mhm, mhm. Yeah, she's hard-headed. Yeah. Because she has a lot of potential. She's really smart, and but she just gets caught up in, in I don't know what happens. How old is she? She's twenty-two. Mm, I feel twenty-three. Yeah, yeah. Well, like she turned twenty-two in, in April, so yeah. Oh, she turned twenty-two in April. So she's turning mm-hmm. twenty. She turned twenty two in April. So she's turning twenty three. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm feeling. I'm feeling twenty three energy with her. But she. She's gonna change. You know. Again, when I was twenty and twenty one years old, granted I didn't have no children, but 
you know, I was, I was, I was not an angel, you know, just <laughs> let's just put it like that, I was not an angel, um, so, you know, you live and you learn, you live and you learn, you gotta go through things, no matter how much our parents try to, you know, stir us the right way, children are gonna be children, and your children are gonna be the, mm-hmm. wor- the, the worst ones that disrespect you and stuff, so, let it go, right. beloved. Let it go. Heal yourself. <laughs> heal yourself. Yeah, yeah. Time to heal. Now, and remember, oh, and that's why, again, Yemaya, that's why you are attracted to Yemaya. That's why I asked you, okay, you are attracted to Yemaya, but what is going on with you personally uh-huh. that you're attracted to her? And the family thing is coming up. You see? That's the reason why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And then that's why the butterfly stuff is coming up too because once you begin to release or once you begin to no longer entertain certain things, you will spiritually grow. Spiritually you're going to grow because you're not you're not entertaining the things that is holding you down. And that's the reason why the color black is coming up. Death. Kill that. Kill it. Kill it. Just it's over with. All of that negativity is over with. Only for you to what? To grow. To start something new. To to, to embrace Oshun. Yep. Hey, wow. It makes Ooh. sense, my love. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I enjoy I enjoy your family here. Made me <laughs> Your family here. I enjoy them. <laughs> yes, my love. The fan just came out, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually asked for that. I actually asked that to pay myself. I was like, please, come forward. I need to know. <laughs> oh, well, then that's why. And they like, she going I'm. we going to make her work. Because <laughs> I don't work. We're going to make her work. Yeah, but that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, that's 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 definitely, yeah, that's definitely good. And I appreciate you, and I appreciate reading you. And, um, you know, like I said to you before, feel free to recommend. Well, I didn't say to you before, but you heard my. my oh, I will. Yeah, free, I will. feel free to recommend me. Yes, my love. Feel free to recommend me and create a bless to you and your family, and I wish you well. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And bless you as well. Thank you so much. Yes. Goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.